The first night of a two-week youth curfew in Alice Springs has just ended. Teenagers and children are now under a two-week curfew. It kicks off every day at 6pm and ends the following morning at 6. It follows violent disturbances in the town on Tuesday. Matt Patterson is the Mayor of Alice Springs. He joins us now. Matt, very good morning to you. You support this curfew. Why? Uh, look, I support and a, a circuit breaker for Alice Springs. I think what we've, what we've witnessed on Tuesday is nothing short of uh, horrendous uh, on a business and uh, we needed help. Um, we needed a circuit breaker, we needed immediate action. Um, so the, circuit, uh, the curfew and the emergency um, from the Northern Territory Government is welcomed, but it's certainly not celebrated. Okay, um, but also the critics are saying this morning it's a bit over the top. Uh, Jared Sharp, the Principal Legal Officer at the North Australian Aboriginal Justice Agency, was in the show earlier saying, uh, just saying just that, and given it affects every single youth in Alice Springs, is it, is it too much? Well, I don't know how many of those critics have lived in Alice Springs for the last five or six years and had to deal with what we've lived through every single day. So clearly the community's fed up. Clearly we wanted some change. And so this is a 14-day reprieve for the community. I just think people need to understand what we've gone through and uh, drastic decisions such as curfews and, and, and the Chief Minister calling emergencies don't just happen after one incident. This is a back to back to back several months and years of destruction and damage in our community. I guess we're leaping into the unknown here because, Matt, I mean, th th there is no real evidence that these sort of curfews work, uh, unless you've seen any. Look, what else? What I'll say to you is clearly what we're doing, what we've been doing for the last little while isn't working either, right? So let's talk about the fact that after six o'clock, you've got to ask yourself, should, should a 10 or a 12 year old be on the street at two or three o'clock in the morning? What, why doesn't anyone want to talk about that fact? Seems we're all too scared to talk about these kids leaving houses because there's domestic violence. Police spend 80% of their time on domestic violence cases in Alice Springs. Why aren't the critics talking about that? But uh, where, where, what's, what's the age threshold, Matt? Where, 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 what's described as a youth uh, as per this curfew? Anyone under the age of 18. Right, okay, so uh, what, what do you say to the uh, 17 and 18 year olds who say work in Alice Springs, who just want to go out and have a good time in Alice Springs, doing nothing wrong? Well, if you're 18, you're fine. It's, it's under 18. Uh, 16, it's okay, 18 okay, under okay, okay. Well, the 16 and 17 year olds, what, what, what do you say to them? Well, if they're going to work and they're going home, that's fine. No one's got a problem with that. Mm. I don't think they're the people that are throwing bricks through windows at three o'clock in the afternoon. If you're 16, if you're 15, if you're 14, you shouldn't be on the street at 3 a.m. You have seen, I've spoken to you previously, you have seen vision uh, of hundreds of kids on the street at three o'clock in the morning. I've seen that vision, but the question is, um, we're talking about 17-year-olds who want to go out and, you know, out with friends, go and have a meal. What, what, aren't, they, aren't they unduly affected by this? They may well be, and I think that we'll work those details out. However, it's for 14 days. Mm. We need to make sure that the community's safe. What we've seen is it's not been acceptable. What happens if it doesn't work, Matt, given that I mean, there is no evidence curfews work? What happens if you get to the end of the 14 days and it does, this doesn't work? As you say, you've tried other measures, you say they don't work. What next? Well, we'll continue to call for more resources in Alice Springs. Uh, I'll continue to advocate that, this, that youth services providers need to be audited to make sure that they're delivering on the services that they're funded for. What, and what other resources are you calling for in terms of um, th this law and order approach? Well, clearly we need more police because we have police spending 80% of their time addressing, addressing domestic violence cases in Alice Springs. I don't know what the algorithm is, but I'm telling you right now that when we have police doing that work, we don't have enough police doing proactive policing and getting to tier three and tier two, pro, uh, tier two call outs uh, for break and enters. Uh, you, want the, you have called in the past for the federal government to actually step in holus bolus and take control of Alice Springs, if not the Northern Territory. Do you still have that view? Uh, I, I want the Northern Territory Government to look after their uh, citizens and if they can't do that they need to step out the way. I think what the decision being made here, um, I certainly welcome and we'll see the next 14 days what that looks like. Yeah, we'll certainly uh, come back to you in 14 days time. Matt Patterson, a busy time for you. Appreciate your time. Thanks for joining us. Thank you so much.